So I recently got my new Sony HDR CX405 camcorder from Amazon. These are a popular camcorder. Um, lots of reviews for them on YouTube. They're sold on Amazon, Walmart, eBay. Pretty much anywhere you can buy cameras, you can find them. Um, and I decided that I would like to try one out. But the first time I got one, this is actually the second one I got, the first time I got one, I got taken by a gray market seller. You don't know what a gray market product is. It's a product that's being sold out of its proper region. And that's a problem for you, the buyer, because it voids the manufacturer's warranty, which means you can't get warranty support from Sony. Now, I was able to get that product returned uh, to Amazon. Well, it wasn't shipped to Amazon. It was the seller that actually sold and shipped it. It was just being sold on Amazon. But you got to watch out for these. Um, this is my new one. This is an actual legitimate Sony camcorder. But I'm going to tell you there are some things I noticed when I had the gray market one in my hands that were pretty good indicators that the sale wasn't legit. So these are things that you need to look out for if you order one of these, especially as part of a bundle, because the bundles are sketchy as it is. They're definitely more likely to get an illegitimate product when you buy a bundle. That's why I bought this separately. But my first word of advice to you is don't buy the bundle. The bundles are not as good of a deal as you think they are. Um, I was able to get much better stuff for about the same price as what the bundle cost. And it didn't give me all the extra crap that came with the bundle that I didn't need. Um, like it came with a fancy lens cleaning kit, some little measurement pad. I didn't need all that stuff. I just needed the case. I needed the cords. You know, I needed the extra batteries, just the basic stuff. And for the same price, I got what I needed in a higher quality. So here are some things you need to look for when you get one of these to see if yours is legit or not. The first thing is right on the outside of the box. You see this barcode sticker right here? Well, the first one I got had a barcode sticker, but it was missing one important thing, and that's this code right here. It starts with S01, and then it has a bunch of numbers after it. That is your camera's serial number. It will match the serial number on the bottom of the camera. If it does not have a serial number sticker on the box, you should immediately begin to question it. Now these boxes aren't sealed like more expensive camcorders are. These are just open box, so it won't have a seal on it whether you get a legitimate one or not. But the next thing you need to look for when you open the box, you're going to have this little tray right here. It's going to be full of papers. We've got a whole stack of papers in here. And you're going to have different warranty cards, user's manuals in different languages. All the stuff you normally get with a Sony product. If you've bought Sony products before, you know the papers that they come with. You should have all those. The first one I got, the illegitimate one, did not have all these papers with it. So if yours is missing papers, bad sign. And if you've had both those signs, you might want to stop right there. But if you go on and get into the box, you'll get the accessories out. And all of these should say Sony on them. So, you know, even the HDMI cable, the USB cable, everything should say Sony on it that's in the Sony box, including the power adapter. And this was what did not say Sony on it in mine. It looked like a good power adapter, wrapped up, had plastic on it, but it didn't say Sony. It just said quick charge. You'll notice this one actually has Sony embossed on it, as every proper Sony power adapter should. The reason for that is because... It's a gray market camcorder, so it's not the U.S. version, so it had a foreign power plug on it. So they had to open the box and swap that out with a generic one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to charge it, and I would have known immediately something was wrong. That's your first sign. If you've got the raw, if you've got a non-Sony power adapter, you're already getting into bad signs. But let's say you go even further, you pull the camera out, right? This is a correct one. This is a U.S. version. And how you tell is there's a little number on the bottom. It'll either say 50i or 60i. Now, the correct U.S. version will say 60i. A PAL camera will say 50i. And what that is is that matches the electrical frequency of the country that you're in. So the U.S. uses 60 hertz, so it's just say 60i, versus like the U.K. uses 50 hertz, it, theirs will say 50i. So that's, that's your big sign. If you're in, you, you have to know, of course, which region you're in. But yeah, if you're in a, if you're in a 
PAL region and yours says 60i, or if you were in an NTSC region like the US, if yours says 50i, it's no good. You got to make sure you've got the right one for your country. And if you're wondering, and if you are wondering, want to check that or something, in the back of the user's manual, and like I said, if your camera didn't come with one, you can pull this up online, but I'm pretty sure this is why it didn't come with one, because they didn't want you to have this information. Gives you all that information about region codes right here, and what your, what your camera specification should be. So, you may be asking though, if you have a gray market one, it, why is this bad? Um, you know, it's a, it's a Sony camera. The gray market ones are Sony cameras. They were just intended for sale in different countries. So why is it bad, you know, if it works? Well, one, you don't have a manufacturer's warranty. That, that's been voided by the gray market sale. So that's no good. Um, that if your product has to be repaired, it won't be able to be repaired with authentic Sony parts. So you don't want that. Next, if it's a gray market sale there's a, and they're already willing to sell illegitimate products, there's a chance it also that they could be lying about it, and it could be a refurbished product as well, and they not be telling the truth. So you need to watch for that, So because if they're willing to lie on one thing, they're willing to lie on another. And the last thing that is a problem is, the, like I said, the electrical frequencies. If your camcorder does not match the electrical frequency for the country you're using it in, and you point it at things like clocks or indoor lights, they will flicker. This camera is a U.S. camera. Using it in the U.S., it will not flicker. But if I tried to use this every day inside buildings in a country with 50 hertz electricity, there would be a lot of flickering. You'd be able to see it in the video. And when I had the illegitimate one, I, all I had to do is open it up, turn it on, and point it at a light, and I could see it. It would be flickering. This one does not. So it's a problem for you. It makes your videos bad quality. But those are the ways you can tell if you're camcorder may be illegitimate if you've got one that's illegitimate definitely get it sent back definitely get a correct one because it's, it's not good to support gray market sellers it's not good to support people who don't want to sell legitimate products that's all i gotta say on this matter see you next time